Yo, whether you watching this from Facebook, Twitter, click the link in my Instagram, moviepilot.com, or YouTube itself. What up, world? So I just watched Wind River. It stars Jeremy Renner, Elizabeth Olsen, Gil Birmingham, John Bernthal, Julia Jones, and Kelsey Chow. It's directed by Taylor Sheridan. And this might be the first thing he's directed, but he wrote Sicario and he wrote Hell or High Water. I had two of my recent most favorite crime dramas to come out. If you want to get a shout out in my review of, I'll still go Batman and Harley Quinn. That's what I'm reviewing next. Uh, stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out how you can do that. So Jeremy Renner is a tracker, a hunter. He's like kind of like Daryl was in The Walking Dead. He stumbles upon a dead body and the feds, Elizabeth Olsen, gets called in to solve, investigate, and solve the murder. I totally, completely did not expect to be reviewing this movie right now. I didn't think my theater was going to get it. I thought the first time I would watch this was on Blu-ray, but out of curiosity, I checked this weekend's uh, this weekend's showtimes, and lo and behold, they they had Wind River. I checked out Baby Driver for the second time, too. I, this is in the same tone of Sicario and... Um, and and hell or high water it's it's a very actor driven story the performances from elizabeth olsen from jeremy renner from from gil birmingham he's in it a lot they push the story forward man you're along with them for the investigation looking at the snow what is it the uh the snowmobile tracks looking at paw prints looking at footprints stuff like that per somebody went this way there's not a set of tracks coming back. What happened? This, that, and the third. Oh, we found this. This got it leads to this. It's it's a crime. It's a it's a very it's a crime drama, and it's 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 put together really well. I mean, if you're not one of those who doesn't get bored because there's not a shootout every five minutes, you can find a lot of enjoyment in this movie, man. There wasn't off top of my head anything I disliked about this movie, man. Not that I liked. But Jeremy Renner had a really fascinating backstory that drove him internally to, to help on the investigation. Like, he's not a cop. He doesn't have a badge. He doesn't have credentials. So he didn't have to help out with the solving of the crime. And then Elizabeth Olsen, basically, from the time that she finds out what happened, she gets emotionally invested which cops really shouldn't do, of course, but she does, and it drives her to want to solve it. And even what, like, what actually happened? There, they show there's one scene that tells you what happened, and it's 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 fucked up. Like I said, man, there's not anything really to to knock this movie for. Um, it's I I, I like the acting, the directing, the cinematography. It's just, it's just all really well done. So with all that being said, man, in my opinion, I will say that Wind River is dope and a half. Um, if you're curious about it, definitely check it out. If you're from the town that I live in, I'm assuming that you personally know me. So I'm telling you that the theater will not have this movie very long. Two weeks max, because nothing comes out next weekend, so it could be it could be held over. But it will not be here in two weeks when it comes out. So if you want to see it, see it soon. If you want that shout out in my review of Batman and Harley Quinn, how much is Wind River going to make this weekend? Be the closest to get your guess in before the box office results come out. Noon Central Time is the cutoff. Also, I it almost slipped my mind, man. I, of course, want to know what y'all thought of Wind River. Positive, negative, somewhere in between, man. Let me know, man. Drop a comment. It's real dope to see... Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch do a movie together that isn't a comic book movie. In my, my upcoming videos, I'll, Batman and Harley Quinn, of course, that comes out Tuesday. I'll, I'll try to get the review posted early, early, early Wednesday morning. Um, sometime over Labor Day weekend, my top five favorite movies of summer will be posted. The summer movie season will be officially over. Then we'll be into September. I want to watch It. And then the weekend after that, I think American Assassin comes out. Something might come out with it. Something might not. So those are at least my next 
two to three movie reviews, man. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, find me where you find me. Don't know where to find me, man. Watch the credits. Peace.